Hi, my name is Mike Winters. I'm a recent PhD graduate from Georgia Tech, and I'm currently a research affiliate in the Socio-Neurophysiology Lab, part of the Kinsey Institute at Indiana University. My co-authors on this paper are Grace Leslie, director of the GT Brain Music Lab, and Bruce Walker, director of the GT Sonification Lab. This talk will summarize our paper entitled, Can You Hear My Heartbeat? Hearing an expressive biosignal elicits empathy. The heart provides an important physiological indicator of affect, but it is not usually perceivable. Wearable technologies such as the Apple Watch have made it easier to share these expressive biosignals with others. Previous research at CHI has shown that previously that visually representing heart rate can lead to socio-effective changes in the perceiver. We provide the first lab-controlled study which demonstrates how auditory heartbeats affect multiple components of empathic state in a simultaneous visual emotion recognition task. In our study, we compared participants' empathic response to versions of the reading the mind and the eyes task with and without auditory heartbeats. The task includes 36 images of eyes and we randomly paired them with fast heartbeats, slow heartbeats, in visual only and audio only conditions. For each trial, we asked participants two questions. One, what are they feeling? Two, how well did you feel what they were feeling? Let's hear a few examples of these trials. I'll be using some description to help those who can't see. This is my sonic super clutter GUI. We're listening to an audio only condition. Participant chooses the word pensive, selects next. Answers the question, how well did you feel what they were feeling? Clicks next. This is a visual only condition. We see eyes, we don't hear heartbeats. Participant responds uneasy, clicks next. Responds, how well did you feel what they were feeling? This is an audio visual fast trial. We see a pair of eyes, we hear the fast heartbeat. Participant selects the word terrified, clicks next. Answers the question, how well did you feel what they were feeling? Well, next. This is an audio-visual slow condition. User selects fantasizing. User clicks next. Answers question, how well did you feel what they were feeling? Extremely well. Based upon prior findings with visual heart rate presentation, we hypothesized that perceiving another person's heart rate could create changes in emotional perspective. In our study design, it was, this was reflected in participants' change in their RMET selection for the same set of eyes in different audio and visual conditions. This was a change or no change for every trial and was compared to a pre-trial baseline. We applied a simple logistic regression and found that participants were 21% more likely to register a change in their RMET selection when they heard heartbeats. Furthermore, people were 56% more likely to register a change when the speed of the auditory heartbeat did not match the expression in the eyes. For each trial, participants answered a second question, namely, how well did you feel what they were feeling? This was designed to be a test of the participants transient feeling of emotional convergence with the observed other. We used a simple seven-point Likert scale and normalized the distribution of participants' responses using the z-score. We applied a Gaussian linear mixed model to analyze our results and found that participants reported significantly greater levels of feeling what the other was feeling when they heard heartbeats. This effect was even stronger when the tempo of the heartbeat matched the expression in the eyes. Based upon these findings, we argue that auditory heartbeats can be used to change emotional perspective and increase feelings of emotional convergence. Because it is an auditory and not visual display, it may be useful as an alternative to visual emotion display for people that are situationally or dispositionally blind. Others might be able to use the auditory cue of tempo to better understand the state of another person and perhaps increase feelings of emotional connection to them. This has been a video presentation of our paper entitled, Can You Feel My Heartbeat? Hearing an Expressive Biosignal Elicits Empathy. I am Mike Winters, on behalf of Bruce Walker and Grace Leslie, thank you very much for your attention.